This video is about NVIDIA's power issues with the new 40 series graphic cards. That's the 4090 and 4080 series. I created another video if you are interested in the actual 4090 and 4080 series specs and pricing and availability, please check out the other video. This video is just about the power connector and the power supply issues that you... The new GPUs require more power and a different power connector. So what I forgot to mention in the other previous video was that uh, you do need to change your power supply to a newer power supply, but you'll also need the newer connector. The newer connector is considered PCIe Gen 5 ready. So that's what you're looking for on the box. And it's going to have a 16 pin connector. It is a small, very small connector that connects your graphic card directly to the power supply. Change the entire power supply and go over to the newer power supply to have a direct cable going from your power supply directly into your graphic card. Is that that the new cable also has a data connection which also tells the power supply and the GPU kind of talk to each other and you know can actually like determine how much power should be coming from the power supply going directly into the graphic card. This is kind of important to have that little bit of data communication as the power requirements have gotten higher on graphic cards and you don't want to have to worry about your thousand dollar graphic card getting destroyed because of a faulty connect that you're going to need to buy a new power supply for your 40 series card for from nvidia so i assume the power supplies will be available before then if you do decide to get a 40 series and you do a lot of benchmark testing I would also be careful because this connector only is allowed to be plugged in and out about 30 times before it is considered worn down. This connector, I would also recommend that you get a modular connector going to your power supply. If you just need to replace that connector, you can replace it rather easily. This is kind of a typical thing for most connectors. Most people are not gonna be changing the graphic card 30 times before they change the power supply. I would probably recommend that if you are doing bench testing though, to be careful and mark in your information if you're going to be doing a lot of graphic card changes, if you're gonna be switching between a 4090 and a 4080 or something like that. It is, a, it is a concern. I just don't think it's a big concern for most customers because most customers are just gonna plug their card in, use the one power supply, probably unplug it maybe two or three times within its lifespan and then move on. Now, if you're doing a lot of testing, again, you wanna mark down how many times you plugged or unplugged that device. Again, that's with any connector though. This is not, this has nothing to do with just power connectors for GPUs. This has to do with any connector. If you're unplugging and replugging a connector in more than 30 to 40 times, you're probably using it for a testing device. At that point, you may have to retire that testing device if the power cable is directly connected to the power supply. If it is not, I would recommend replacement through a modular system. Using the conversion cables, I don't recommend doing that. They are kind of dangerous in the aspect of if that pin doesn't line up 100%, you may end up sparking it or causing more of a short down further in the, in the cable. Also, without that communication to the power supply, you will have other problems. So I would recommend that you switch to the more higher end power supply, put an actual proper data cable through, or better yet, avoid all of this and maybe wait for AMD to come out with their new graphic card and then maybe switch over to that instead. Nvidia expects you to spend a lot of money here because they're not expecting you to buy a really low end power supply. They're expecting you to buy in to like a thousand watt power supply. And most of the thousand watt power supplies are the only ones that are gonna be like holding on to these new connectors because they're the ones that they can only support that graphic card and only support that connector. Therefore, you're going to spend more money for that power supply. This has to be something you have to figure into your budget, so please be sure to add it to your budget. If you have any questions about NVIDIA's new power connector or in the NVIDIA graphic cards, feel free to leave a comment below. We do read them. Once we read them, we will respond to them as soon as we possibly can. Thanks and see you in the next one.